the sleepy village of Bundanoon, already famous as the world's first bottled water free town, is about to hit the world stage once again, this time thanks to a newly discovered species. The burrowing koala is closely related to the beloved koala, but prefers to live in a burrow instead of a tree. Bundanoon locals already had a soft spot for what they thought were normal wombats, and this new discovery has them even more excited. We're speaking to Georgia, who is one of the students here. We thought they were just wombats, which we love anyway. But to know they are really burrowing koalas makes them super special, and we've got to take extra good care of them. Nature keeps on throwing us surprises. Local ecologist Dr Steve Douglas is astounded. This is a black swan moment for ecology. We thought koalas were arboreal all the time, but now we find they're subterranean. Guess there's going to be plenty of research grants in that. While I am intrigued about the uh, discovery of the burrowing koala, I am a little bit disappointed as well. <sighs> burrowing koala, John, doesn't really have the same ring to it, does it? Still, if people can love these animals as much as they love the koala, we can share the roads better with these little guys, we can treat the mange, and we can coexist with them within the community. I'm really excited about what's going to happen. This is great news for the Southern Highlands. Already the Highlands is well known as a major tourism destination, home of the Bradman Museum, home of Tulip Time, and Australia's home of all things pies. But now this latest find is really going to put the Southern Highlands on the map as a major nature-based destination. It'll be ecological tourism coming out your ears here in Bundanoon, home of the burrowing koala. So next time you visit the Southern Highlands, be sure to keep an eye out for this burrowing koala. Just as cute, but not so good on the roads. Slow down and enjoy this new national treasure. Cassidy Rogan for the Bundanoon Broadcasting Service.